<laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> He's not coming with me. myself a little corner to uh, finally talk to you. Got here about 45 minutes ago. 45 minutes through security. Very busy in the morning. Air travel is definitely back in full swing. But uh, yeah, I'm going on United today, up to Denver, Colorado. We're going on a trip, obviously. And the trip is completely sponsored by Flying Eyes. So thanks to Flying Eyes for sponsoring the whole trip and you're all coming along with me. Two days of flying, well, this is Day one, going to get to Denver, meet up with uh, Tyler, who is uh, one of the Flying Eyes family members. He's got a Mooney, so he's picking me up from Denver International. We're flying from Denver International down to Colorado Springs, uh, staying the night in Colorado Springs, and then doing a day of flying tomorrow. So you're going to get two videos out of this trip. This first one's going to be a vlog, and the second one is going to be about the, the whole day of flying tomorrow, what we're going to get up to. Um, I've flown a Mooney before, but I've never landed it. So I asked Tyler if he's going to let me land his Mooney. He said, absolutely. So I hope his landing gear is ready. If you don't know about flying eyes, flying eyes are the best sunglasses for pilots, right? I'm not going to get into too much detail on it at the moment, but if you're looking for sunglasses and you want a discount of flying eyes sunglasses, I can give you 10% off the link is in the description. Use code LUDIX. Okay, just got to wait for my Boeing 737 to arrive and uh, I will promptly tell the crew members immediately after boarding that if anything goes wrong with the pilots, I'm ready and able. City, the most chaotic airport I think I've ever been in. Denver International was a labyrinth to get out of. I think I traveled further on an underground shuttle than I did on the plane. But anyway, we're here. Temperature's beautiful. What a beautiful day. We're about to go and fly again. That view is spectacular and I can't wait to get up and actually see it. I was in an aisle seat, so I didn't have a chance to look out the window or get any shots out of the window while I was flying on the United flight, which is a shame, but people that sat next to me were very nice. Uh, very nice in the sense that they didn't say a f***ing word to me, so that's good. Don't like being bothered while I'm on the plane. A couple of times my head bobbed while I was trying to sleep, uh, so that's embarrassing, but so did the woman next to me, so we both did it. All right, let's go and get on this movie. Absolutely beautiful, and, and so is this gentleman as well. This is Tyler. Tyler, say hello to the people. Hello, people. <laughs> he's uh, he's part of the Flying Eyes family. Explain who are you? Who are you? What? Did, when was the last time you were in the octagon? You'll do nothing. You'll do f***ing nothing. So I'm Tyler Fox. I'm the national sales manager for Flying Eyes Optics. We make the best sunglasses and eyewear for anyone wearing a headset or a helmet. That. You're not gonna break on accident. And it's comfortable under the headsets when you're flying with a guy like this and you're trying to keep that noise cancellation really good. The, the whole reason that I partnered with Flying Eyes and now I'm a brand ambassador for Flying Eyes is for exactly what he said. Most comfortable sunglasses I've ever worn, ever. And that's even outside of flying. So yeah, we're here in Denver. We're about to go and fly in this beautiful scenery. We're, today's not gonna be a major day of flying. We're just gonna uh, take a little bit of uh, a detour from the, the the route that we were going to do we're coming from denver international going down to colorado springs a little bit of a taster and then tomorrow will be the big video which will be a, a second video so this first video is just a vlog and you're getting another video coming soon so make sure you subscribe for that and yeah if you want to get yourself some sunglasses get a discount on them what's the problem is the fuel supposed to look like that oh shit! did you what is it who did is that it'll be coffee? fine it'll be fine it'll run on caffeine right? it'll be fine It'll be, it's that old technology. It's a good start to the day. He puts everything back in the plane. <laughs> Even his screwdriver and forgets that this is wide open. You could talk about cooling, but I think he's going to be all right. <laughs> he's throwing me out of my, you know, flow. Yeah. The guy who's not responsible. Yeah, sorry. I'm just a passenger I'm today. I'm just a pilot in command. That's all. <laughs> just... So today we're going to get a taste of what's uh, what's to come. See a bit of scenery. I don't usually fly in any nice scenery. All the, the geography in Florida is very flat. So first time in Denver, let's go and fly. 
Denver Clarence, Mooney 22 Victor Alpha. I'm a Mooney Mike 20 Echo departing from Signature VFR to the southwest. November 22 Victor Alpha, Denver Clarence, Roger, stand by one second. Paper just went flying up. <laughs> How fast does that thing go? Mooney 2 Victor Alpha, oh, discard. Can we go? No. Uh, yeah. Do we? Yeah. When is it? Peak. No? Hello? <laughs> An hour later, we're like. <laughs> Can we two, two. <laughs> Victor Alpha. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to go southwest. <laughs> oh, poor guy. <laughs> yeah, those poor fellows just been know. sitting there. Like, what are these two jokers doing? <laughs> oh, they just look like they're giggling. <laughs> He's thinking, oh, there's no way they're making it to their destination alive. <laughs> I overheard him saying they're going towards the mountains. That's so probably not a good idea for them to. <laughs> Many two, Victor here. Alpha, you're cleared out of the class Bravo to the southwest. Maintain VFR at or below 8,500. Squawk 5160. Cleared out of Bravo Space uh, to the southwest. Fly VFR at or below 8,500. Squawk 5160. 22 Victor Alpha. Mooney 2 Victor Alpha, read that correct. And Mooney uh, 2 Victor Alpha, if you'd like, I can give you an intersection departure if you'd like. That would be wonderful. 22 Victor Alpha. Mooney 2 Victor Alpha, Endeavor Tower, fly runway heading, runway 17 right at Mike 6, clear for takeoff. Fly runway heading, depart Mike 6, 17 right, cleared for takeoff, 2 2 Victor Alpha. They're trying to get me the f out of Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Those guys are who they want to get in the air, they don't care about us. Yeah, exactly. Send him! Okay, that's closed, that's locked, we're good there. Okay. We have proper fuel flow. That's kind of cool, I've never done takeoff. <laughs> it's like Southwest that. style departure, that. Yeah. Welcome to the Denver sky. Woo. We are flying. See ya. Something weird about the air the last week, the climb performance has been terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Constantly like leaning and trying to find higher power. Yeah, yeah. But it's not my airplane. Plenty, two Victor air. Alpha, turn left heading 135. Left heading 135, two, two Victor Alpha. Gear is up. Don't need our fuel pump. Don't need our flaps. Sky 5585, never tower only. Good airspeed. Good line, one seven rise. 5585. Tower and average. Line radius crap. Kidding, clear for takeoff. <laughs> yeah. It's flat, so we're lucky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll have to be very aware of that. Right. Or with landing and departing at 10,000 feet. Yeah. Departure, Mooney 22 Victor Alpha is with you, climbing 6,500. 2 Victor Alpha, Roger. So, all in all, like, departing of class Delta, uh, Delta, class Bravo Airport. Not that difficult at all. But you still want to be on your game. Yes. Because they expect quick response. Right. Yeah, you can't switch off. You're in airline territory. 2 Victor Alpha, you can uh, resume on navigation. Thank you very much. 2 Victor Alpha, resume on navigation. We have been freed. See ya. So I do want to make it very clear. Um, you're the first instructor I've had in my airplane in probably 200 hours. Oh, really? I've flown a lot in the last 10 months. Uh, 200 hours has all happened in the last 10 months. Right. Um, so I would definitely, I invite and appreciate it. You see me do anything you decide is dangerous, yeah. or you decide doesn't make sense or shouldn't be done, uh, or you have any suggestions for workflow or improvements on my skills, do not hesitate. Gotcha. I just want to be better tomorrow than I am today right. on everything. So, and that's a good attitude. Yeah, you know. So anyway, I just want to make sure you knew that. Don't hesitate. Yeah, well, shut the f up. <laughs> <laughs> that's a tall order. That's a very tall order. So we are going south. That's that's the direction we're supposed to be going in. But we're we're going what up to those. We're going to go southwest to get close to the mountains. Okay. Because it's not going to be. It shouldn't be bumpy today. There's not much in the way of wind. So we can fly in the foothills, right? But that that continental line, yeah. All the my, my non-turbo Mooney ain't getting over that. <laughs> and Colorado Springs is just nestled in the valley to the east of Pikes Peak. Roger. The colors and completely different as well. Straight to the right here, the airport you see over here, 
Yeah, that is Centennial. Yeah, uh, that's where the... Uh, zero 06, Cathay Denver Center, 128.37, you have a nice flight. And that is where the pilot shop uh, is, track one of our... Contact Centennial Tower on 118.9, are you a good one? <laughs> the problem with this is you got constant <laughs> quick, interruptions say, quick. in Class B. <laughs> so that's the pilot shop at Centennial. It's owned by Jean, <laughs> she's amazing, and they sell flying eyes. Yes! <laughs> Great airport, that's where the, se uh, the Cirrus pilot flew right into that Oh, computer jet. yeah. That was right there. They have the two parallel runways, and it was just off the north end of it. Ah, what a dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> and it's interesting as well, because what's the ele what's the elevation at Denver? 5,500. Yeah. So we're only at... 4,500. Because... So one one's here for this question. Oh, second, let, me, <laughs> let me tune it in. All right, so anyway, so the interesting thing is that Denver is only at 5,500. So contact yeah. Denver Center, And then this is actually a hill going up. And then it goes up, to, I think it gets up to, at some points... Uh, almost 9,095 really? in the pass, and then it drops down, and then Colorado Springs, my house is at 6,800 feet, right. and the airport is at uh, 6,000 feet. Right. So Colorado Springs is actually higher than Denver. Wow. Denver, Denver. But as you can see ahead of us, we need this altitude to get into the foothills. Yes, because directly ahead of us. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my! See this uh, over there? Oh, the valley! Oh man! I should have brought my hiking boots. Here, yeah. So these are uh, aspens that are still turning. Right. So the yellow, oh, the yellow, the little yeah. yellow. Those are aspens. Now I've actually never just flown straight out from Denver this way, so this is new to me too. Right, right. I mean, Colorado Springs is back that way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So is, our navigation point is always the mountain peak. Yeah. That's Pikes Peak. Yeah. I know to get home, I go there. Nice. <laughs> it's pretty easy. Wow. So yeah, let's check that out over there. Yeah. So, look around, clear the airspace. And you get to see all of it. Oh, this is, this is amazing. Southwest 10, and we're back. Some well executed steep turn. <laughs> yeah, I, I held my altitude well enough. This first one I've done in a while all the way around. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And we're on the leeward side of this. We'll probably get some chop. Right. Look at that. So that's like a little river going through. That's a big river. A big I would call it a big river. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> it's a little stream. <laughs> Size matters. <laughs> Rock scrambling on these. Yeah, that, that. That is amazing to me. Yeah. Oh, actually, this is interesting. Is this the... That's where I am. I didn't realize we flew this far north. There's navigation There's for navigation. That, I didn't know where oh, I was. Look. We're flying my airplane <laughs> in the mountains where I can fly. <laughs> but my friend, you know, Redbeard, my friend David, yeah. uh, and I went flying. We flew all the way up and over this. Nice. And you can see how much the wind's kicking down there on the ground. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, head back that way. Roger. Three o'clock, that makes sense. I don't know about you, but I'm getting hungry. Yeah, I, I am as well. Little peckish. Yeah, this, is, this was a good, uh, a good taste, huh? Uh, yeah, it gets you warmed up. So, answer truthfully. Are you feeling okay with my piloting skills as far as your safety is concerned at this yeah. point? Yeah. important. If I was making you nervous at any point, I would want to know. If, if you want one piece of, of thing that I've noticed, just a little bit of altitude control. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I have noticed it, too, and yeah. I was waiting for you to tell me yeah. something. <laughs> I was like... Is he going to be honest with me about that? Because my altitude control has been <laughs> shit. Now I know you'll be honest with me. There we go. It was a test. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. I have perfect altitude <laughs> control at all times. Springs approach, Mooney 22 Valk, Victor Alpha, 26 miles to the northwest, coming in uh, for full stop. Mooney 22 Victor Alpha, Springs Approach, squad 4622, 8th November, Stern, East Coast, the Blizzard, and San Diego, Fort Stanley. We need two Victor Alpha, wind 15014, enter a midfield right downwind, runway 17 right. Enter midfield right downwind, runway 17 right, 22 Victor Alpha.
Hold tight to your knickers. <laughs> <laughs> it's get a little choppy. So cool coming through the valley and then just seeing civilization again. You know, this is like, thanks for this, man. This You're is welcome. Amazing. Thanks for thank me. Flying eyes. Thank flying eyes. Flying eyes. The sunglasses. Yes. yes. For pilots. <laughs> Made by pilots. Four pilots. Made pilots. Four pilots. Absolutely nothing else. Just does this. Yeah. Comfortably. 22 Victor Alpha, Cherokee traffic zone factor in our right base for only one step right. You're following a meridian on the three mile straight in. And this is the yeah, airport, yeah. Above, so maintain yep. BFR at airport straight in. Yeah. So now, because he's, instead of a downwind, giving me a right base, now I'm in an Victor altitude issue. Right. Not Clear something two the pros like us can. <laughs> no, he's a, south, especially two pros down wearing down flying down eyes. Down it down makes down us down better down pilots. Down it does. It doesn't make you better pilots. It does make you a safer pilot because you don't have headaches. Contact tower 119 or .9 every day. Contact Tower 119er, Point Niner, great day, 22 Victor Alpha. See, my flying eyes made it so that I heard that despite <laughs> the fact that I was talking. So the thing about a Mooney, by the way, most of the time really hard to slow down. Yeah. Right now we have a ton of wind in our face, it seems. So I'm already at gear speed. So I might as well get my gear down because with a Mooney that doesn't have speed brakes, yeah. I'll show you how to do all of yeah, that yeah, yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you being aware of getting that speed down to your, you know, 100, 105 knots. Right. She just loves to fly. She loves to go fast. We have a very long runway. Yeah. And the FBO's at the end of it. Oh, nice. So that is my intention here, is to come in a little high, land a little further down the runway. Two Victor Alpha, wind 150 at 16, turn 179, clear to land. Runway 17 right, clear to land, 2-2 Victor Alpha. So flap speed is 85, and I just go all in. Pum, pum, pum. And now when it's all in, the Mooney gets really nose heavy. Right. And so what you then, then have to do is end up trimming her back. Okay. And what we want is 70 knots. That's a short final approach. Uh, short final. Yeah. Now our short final is a little different because we're going to come in about half. Right. Down the field. Yeah. Intentionally. Yes, because the FBO is at the end of it. But you've got yep. plenty of runway. Oh, tons of runway. Now we got our nice, just over 70 knots. Wheels are down. Looking out for that possible wind shear. Keeping her at 70 knots. Still, I've got her. And you come in with a lot less flare. Wind and I just ease her down. Oh yeah. Man, why weren't you with me when I landed at DIA? Because it literally just skidded on. Just, yeah. You didn't even hear the wheels touch. Right. Like, man, I wish Lou was with me. I, th that was nice. I like that. Was it okay? Yeah. It was nice for me. Mooney 2, Victor Alpha, turn right Alpha 3, contact ground point 7. Right on Alpha 3, contact ground. Have a great day, 2-2 two, two, Victor Alpha. So yeah, and that was with performance anxiety, too. My first landing yeah, with you in the plane. Yeah, right, exactly. I was actually nervous. I look up to you as a pilot. Stop it. Performance anxiety. Like I always tell new people that I fly with, if like it's an instruction flight or whatever, it's always weird flying with somebody new because you feel like you're under a microscope. Like with me, I try and keep people as you know relaxed as humanly possible. Because I mean, like we're, we're just two friends flying about, you know. Yeah, anxiety causes mistakes. Absolutely. Like fear is the mind killer. Yep. So that's a Dune thing that you don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I'll have to watch it. We'll, we'll revisit this conversation. <laughs> Enjoy something witty coming up, but it just didn't happen. Enjoy your p I'm gonna go pee. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be glorious. Have fun. So that's it. We're in uh, Colorado Springs. Beautiful flight, like for somebody that comes from somewhere that, that doesn't have terrain. <laughs> like down in Florida, it's flat. Coming somewhere like this and actually getting to fly in and amongst the, the, the mountainous terrain is incredible. Very windy. Very windy. You read about the winds around mountains, and when you don't experience it, it's like, ah, oh, it can't be that bad. But then you get into it, it's like, oh wow. You can see how you can get into trouble with that sort of uh, wind. Anyway, we're gonna go to the uh, the hotel now and kind of check out what that's like. Will there be a king size bed? 
we'll see. Here we go. Where's the lights? Turn all these lights. Hey, that'll do. Finally made it into the room. It's been a long day. And uh, I've got to have a shower. I've got to go and get some food with Tyler. And I'm absolutely starving. But the room's all right. It's quite a nice room. Decent sized TV. If there's one criticism, I'd say that the TV should be closer to the middle of the bed because this is the middle of the bed here and you obviously can't see the TV because it's still on rear. But you know what? I wasn't the interior decorator of this place and I'm not complaining. It's a decent room and it's got a king size bed for all the action that's going to go on. A lot of sleeping. Not said that on the channel for a long time. We're back with the vlogs. If you remember that joke, then you've been watching this channel for quite a while. That's it for this video. You're going to get another video soon uh, with our shenanigans tomorrow. I've got some really cool mountain flying tomorrow and doing some landings and stuff, uh, getting acquainted with the Mooney. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. That's going to be exciting. And uh, yeah, appreciate Fly Nice. Thank you, Fly Nice, for bringing me up here to, to do this stuff. Like, I never imagined when I started my YouTube channel that I would A, get more than 100 subscribers or B, be able to partner with companies that make really cool products like sunglasses for pilots. When they first contacted me, I was a little bit skeptical about it, but they sent me the sunglasses and I was like, oh my God, I don't feel the head pain. So I wanted to partner with them immediately. So now I'm a brand ambassador for Flying Eyes, getting the opportunity to come and do cool stuff like this. Such a, such a cool thing. Um, anyway, thank you Flying Eyes. Thank you to everybody that's made it this far into the video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video in the Flying Eyes trip. I'll see you in that shower time.